Okay, three Queensland girls, this is a shocking story, have had a frightening encounter with young criminals on their walk home from school on the Gold Coast. A group of young offenders jumped out of a stolen car and threatened the girls on Monday. Thankfully, they weren't physically harmed in the incident. Here to share the story is Queensland mum Carly Jones, who is live with her kids. Carly, this is so shocking. Take us through what happened on the girls' walk home from school. So they were walking home from school with a group of boys, which they usually do, um, and then there's a little grassy patch there with a dirt shortcut that um, they wait nearby for their older sister and for her to get off their high school bus. And then um, the cars come out of the bush and it's kind of stopped there for a bit and um, oh, turned its lights off and honked the horn. Mm. And um, they waited there for the sister, so the boys have parted ways to go home and they've kind of just lingered around the corner because they knew that the car was there. And then um, one of the boys jumped out at the car and started coming towards um, my other girl, which we've got some off camera at the moment, um, a six-year-old. And um, she went to go grab her bag. And, <laughs> and um, they've, um, the young boys have come back because the girls have screamed out to them. And he ran back in and he's like, you know, funnily like, oh, I, I watched Cobra Kai. And he's, he's, he's scared the boys back into the car. And then they've taken off and done skids down the road and yelled mm. out, I will find you and I'll stab you, as they've uh -huh. drove over the embankment, yelling out at other kids riding their bike home yeah. as well. That is terrible. So it was a very, very weary incident. And, yeah, well, yeah, I so we're trying to get groups together to walk home now because we're just un right. uneasy about them walking home on their own now. Well, yeah, that's understandable. I mean, we only this, live down the road. This is frightening for an adult, let alone a child. How are they all holding up after that? They're, they're all right. They're pretty tough girls. Um, if it had been more serious, I think the circumstances would be a bit different in their eyes. Um, they, they wouldn't know what they would have done if um, one of the blokes actually grabbed their younger sister. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a very serious matter and being in a stolen car and stuff like that, you can't, you can't exactly chase them down and, and know who they are and stuff like that. And before that, they, they came through the estate and they sideswiped another car and they did the whole... They got like five videos on, on CCT footage of them raiding people's cars and, wow. you know, running into the cars and then driving off and stuff like that. And it's, it's getting beyond ridiculous at the moment with all the youth crime around at the moment. But this isn't your first time, is it? Because as we know, you were just saying, it's all over the GC at the moment. But this isn't your first time, is it, Carly, with this? Yeah. No, it isn't. Um, when we first moved here, we actually had our house broken into and our car was stolen. Oh, wow. And that is the reason why we're forced to walk to school and, and work now at the moment. Wow. So if I, if I still had my car, um, we wouldn't have to be walking in this situation and we wouldn't be here again, I guess. You know, we were speaking just earlier to another victim who described this as a way of life in Queensland. That's just shocking, isn't it? Um, you've obviously said you're, you're, you're finding more kids to walk together, so, you know, a bit of safety in numbers. But what else needs to be done to prevent this, do you think? Um, I, I think tougher discipline on the, on the youth crime. You know, they, they just get out the next day and they go do the repeat things. Mm. They're, they're not getting any discipline from anyone whatsoever. They're just getting a slap on the wrist and getting let back out. You know, if someone just over 18 would have done all this, they'd be in lock up for a long time. Carly, we're just so glad that you and your girls are safe. Yeah. And we hope that stays that way. Please let us yeah, know how same. it's all going in the future. And well done on the girls and their mates, yeah. their boys, for running forward too and helping out. It's good community spirit there. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've thanked the boys a lot and they, they will walk with them every afternoon now. We've, we've spoken to the parents and everyone around who was, who was in the area at the time and everyone's very wary. And um, as soon as you hear dogs bark for night time, everyone's got their hackles up, you know, you saw someone yeah. in the street again, you know. So everyone's on edge at the moment. Oh, yeah, really you and plenty of people across Queensland, right across yeah. the country, in fact. Carly, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Take care. Carly. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?